Lives lost to rain in western India. At least eight people perished within 24 hours on Sunday, July 4th, as torrential rains deluged parts of Marathwada region in Maharashtra state with up to 240 millimeters of precipitation in just 24 hours. The fatalities, including a newborn baby, resulted from floods and lightning strikes and added to the already 40 people who had succumbed to rain-related incidents since June 1st. A rescue team saved 11 people who had become stranded in a village in the heavily hit Aurangabad region, while the Gangaked Loha State Highway was temporarily closed when a bridge was inundated. Officials are assessing damage in the affected areas and have said that the bereaved families will receive immediate financial assistance. With our sincere sympathies to those who have lost loved ones, we thank the Indian government and officials for your initiatives to help alleviate the conditions of the storm afflicted. Our prayers for the smooth resuming of the Indian people's regular daily lives and that such calamities subside through our conscientious efforts of greater care for the earth. Earthquakes jolt the northern Mariana Islands, Peru, and Japan. Early on Sunday, July 4th, a quake measuring 5.1 on the Richter scale struck near the northern Mariana Islands, 80 kilometers west of Pagan. Soon after, a 5.6 magnitude tembler hit off the coast of northern Peru, centered 35 kilometers deep and 158 kilometers southwest of Trujillo. The next morning, a strong magnitude 6.4 quake occurred near the east coast of Japan's Honshu Island, 120 kilometers east of Morioka. There were fortunately no reports of damage or injuries and no tsunami warnings were issued. We are grateful for the safety of everyone in the quake-shaken regions. With the grace of the Providence, may such distressing events be eased as our gentler ways help ensure the balance of the earth.